Excitement is building in the photography world as rumors circulate about Canon's plans for the upcoming EOS RS mirrorless camera. The original EOS R7 was a huge hit for Canon when it launched in 2020, though it suffered from um, overheating issues when recording high-resolution video. Now reports suggest Canon aims to rectify this with the EOS RS version, significantly boosting video capabilities. But are expectations getting ahead of reality? The RS may also get a resolution bump to 60 megapixels according to some reports. However, other rumors point to retaining the 45 megapixel count of its predecessor. Either way, expect tighter cropping if the ultra-high frame rates prove accurate. While announcement timing remains uncertain, Buzz suggests we could see the RS by February 2024. This may coincide closely with Canon's development timeline for its flagship EOS camera, also slated for a 2024 launch. It's no secret that cramming significantly more processing power and raw speed into a camera also generates a lot of heat. This has been a well-documented Achilles heel of the pioneering RS. Unless Canon has pulled off a groundbreaking engineering feat for the RS, achieving such blazing fast frame rates might necessitate some significant compromises. If anonymous insider sources are to be believed, the EOS RS may push boundaries for mirrorless video performance. Foremost is the claim that 8K recording could reach a blistering 60 FPS, compared to the original RS's limit of 29.97 FPS. This doubling of ultra-high-res capture speed would enable new creative options for slow motion and high frame rate editing. But it also threatens to take already massive file sizes into extinction-level event territory. The RS currently produces approximately 2600 MBPs 8K raw footage at 30 FPS expect a similar doubling at 60 FPS. While Canon may reclaim the mirrorless video crown if these specs prove accurate, they seem to push the limits of what physics will allow within current camera body constraints. For Canon, the stakes are high to meet expectations after the runaway triumph of the first-generation EOS RS. But pushing technical boundaries too aggressively risks inheriting the same weaknesses that left professional videographers lukewarm. To enable these super-speedy frame rates, the camera might resort to heavily cropped recording modes. This essentially means sacrificing a portion of the sensor's full field of view, resulting in a zoomed-in final image. Even with cropping in play, the RS would likely require dramatically improved heat dissipation to avoid a repeat of overheating issues that plagued the RS. In essence, while the rumored specs for the RS video capabilities are undeniably impressive, it's crucial to wait for official confirmation and independent testing. Can Canon overcome the heat challenges and deliver on the promise of smooth, high-resolution, high-frame-rate video without sacrificing image quality or recording times? Only time, and rigorous testing, will tell. However, a more measured approach focused on meaningful upgrades and reliability may better align with the needs of working creative pros. As enticing as the possibilities seem, measured optimism may serve us best as we await official word from Canon on what the EOS RS has in store. Let us know what you are expecting from this camera and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more.